Our lesson today is on oneness. Our first thought-provoking piece is from the book of Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now the passages of this scripture both imply and clearly state that Jesus Christ was subject to all temptations of his human form and all aspects of death which the evil one controlled. The small death of sin, the death or damage of the relationship with the Lord, and the full death of the mortal body, the death which Christ destroyed with his mortal death and subsequent resurrection. Quote, Therefore he had to become like his mortal brothers and sisters in every way, that he might expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested. He is able to help those who are being tested. Close quote. We are tested, so should stand against those tests as our Lord and Saviour did. Our stand as long and as possible and taste the defeat. That bitter taste is then the taste of sin against our Lord. That taste is made sweeter when we repent and return to his unconditional love. We share in Jesus' death through our baptism. He shared in our life with his having been begotten of a woman and born. Together we can celebrate our oneness, our love, our one body. For whenever we come to the holy table, we are of one body. And we consume of one body when we are invited to that holy table. But if ever, ever, you step away from the table. If ever you look away and you notice for the first time that there are others who don't look like you by race, by hairstyle, by the way they dress, or by the way they sound. If you notice that for one time, then you are no longer part of the one body. For within one body, we are one people. We are one race, the human race. Any other denomination, any other delineation is a human imposed one, and it matters not. Also, any time three share his name together, as we do in this fellowship, 
breaking bread as families do, using the spiritual communion as we do, saying the blessings before you break the bread. We defy the evil one by denying death. We live well, safely, and long through the unconditional love of our one begotten brother, Jesus Christ. But only, but only when we remain in that one body, at the one table, together. Peace be with all of you. Peace be given unto all who live in your houses. <laughs>